What is going on, Proper Squad? Fiddle Steven here with another Selling Everything video for Fallout New Vegas. As you know, we have been selling everything in the casinos for Fallout New Vegas, so we are continuing with the tops. For those new to the series, I pretty much start off as a level 1 character with no caps on me, with no barter skill. I grab all the items that I can grab in the casino, and then I just sell them all for base price and see how much it's worth. I have a whole playlist available for anyone that's interested in owning this series. Go ahead and check out the playlist down below for Fallout 4 and Fallout New Vegas. So that being said, let's enter the tops, kill everyone, and then start looting. Hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice? If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly, you dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Have a good time, baby. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is just kill everyone. And then I'm gonna start looting everything I can so that the game doesn't lag. And then I'm gonna activate loot everything mod. Which will grab everything I missed. So let's do it man manually first. Okay, I leveled up twice, so I had to uh, finish that real quick. But um, unfortunately, this mod does not grab items that are deemed uh, like stolen, pretty much. Uh, so I can't. Uh, I have to make sure I grab those. See, for example, steel ashtray, the mod won't pick that up, so I have to actually manually grab that. So I gotta make sure I don't miss anything. So I'm gonna go around first once, and then start in the middle. Okay, so I did a full round of the, of the edge. Now I'm going to go through each middle section. Okay, that looks clear. Let's enter this place right here, the diner. Same thing, call. And then repeat the process. Okay, the diner should be finished. Yep, everything in the diner is clear. Um, what, where does this go right here? That goes to the courtyard. This goes, okay, it's a regular door. All right, and everything in here. Okay, that storage is finished. God damn, there's a lot of items here. Uh, next up, let's go to the courtyard. I think the tops has the most NPCs as well. Nothing on these tables. That goes to the top's main floor. Perfect. Courtyard finished. Now let's enter in the main floor again. So let's go to the offices.
let's open up the mod auto loot and let's start it just in case we missed anything. There we go. We missed some stuff. Okay, I think that's everything. Yes, it is. Turn it off. Oh my god. Yeah, this place definitely has the most NPCs. Okay, same thing, quickly turn on loot everything, see what we missed. Alright, we got everything, perfect. So before I enter the 13th floor, I'm going to go back into the diner and activate loot everything because I forgot to do that last time. Alright, good. I, I actually didn't miss anything. But as you can see, this is why I only turn it on when I need to because it actually makes me lose frames. So let's turn that back off. There we go. Okay, so we got everything here. Let's try the courtyard and then we'll go upstairs. We got everything here too. Perfect. Here we go. Now time to loot. All the rooms are cleared. Let's enter the main room and then we'll turn on auto loot. This is my fault. Okay, killed Yes Man. I didn't want to kill Yes Man, but I had to. Okay, I had to kill Yes Man. He was unfortunately a part of the tops. So is this area as well. Oh my god, it's all part of the tops. Sub basement. Ah, right, we'll have to go to the sub-basement as well, and then the penthouse too. Okay, let's check this hallway first. Dead end, okay. Let's turn on auto loot. Yeah, I figured I missed some stuff. Okay. Cool, cool. Oh, Yes Man is back. Alright, good to know. I just, I just have to loot him once. I'll just count him as one. Even though he keeps on respawning, I'll just count his item as one. Let's wait for everything to finish the auto-looting, and then I'll take the elevator to the sub-basement. Um, 
would help. Well, let's turn on auto loot. I think my game just glitched. Alright. There goes the frames. But let, let it loot everything, okay? I think it just looted the globe. Alright. Alright, I think this is glitched. Yeah, I can't even... Oh, never mind. Vault 21 gift shop. That's Vault 21. That doesn't count, so... Let's go back to the penthouse now, and that's all we have left. There we go. Now let's go to the main casino once that's finished looting everything. Alright, turn that off. In we go. Here we go. Presidential suite is the last location. Let's go. Okay, that should be everything. Oh, forgot the one, the one Tessabrilla. There we go. Alright, let's head to the main floor and sell everything. Now, usually I go to gun runners and sell everything in like batches but with cheat terminal comes this person called the merchant which has like half a million in caps so i'm just going to use him i should have done it from the beginning but better late than never right so let's check the inventory so i've stolen 1154 caps this, this is how many caps are already located in the top casino i weigh 1212 pounds okay damn that's a lot of items now let's sell everything let me see your wares. And as you can see how much caps he has. So let's sell everything. So in total, the tops comes up to a hefty 13,230 bottle caps. Pretty sure that is the most out of all the casinos so far. So guys, that is the end right there. 13,230 bottle caps for the tops. I'll see you guys in the next video where I sell the next location for Fallout New Vegas. Fiddle Steven out, and remember, stay proper. Peace.